Hi guys, Sherry here from the Effects Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a twin flame reading for August the 7th until the 14th of August. So this will include the Lion's Gate, um, which is a very powerful energy that's coming up, I believe, tomorrow. Um, whoa. So the throat chakra, whoa, geez. <laughs> the throat chakra obviously wants to be shown here. So, um, you know, the twin flame reading encompasses both aspects, feminine and masculine. So it's a shared energy here. Uh, so communication is desired or communication is coming. And, uh, so I was talking about the Lion's Gate uh, when the card popped out. So you know, maybe tomorrow there will be some important communication that will come. And it could just be in the form of, you know, uh, synchronistic signs from source. Like the 1111 um, number on the time. And hearing a person's name when you're thinking of them or... You know, that kind of thing. All right. So I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. I'm going to pull the cards first. That way I can get them out of the way. So pass for the feminine. Pass for the masculine. Present for the feminine. Present masculine. Uh, near future feminine. Near future masculine. Final outcome. What is the feminine bringing in, masculine bringing in, foundation, crowning, heart, and the bottom of the deck. So I'm also going to be using my cards. So I've been doing some work on them, so they're a little sticky right now. I think they're almost ready to go. I want to make sure they're exactly the way I want them before I send them out to print. Uh, and I could be a little bit OCD about my my art. So, But we're getting there. And thank you so much for the support, guys. I love you so much. You give me confidence and courage to do this. And I appreciate your likes, your shares, and all of the above. All right, I'm going to be pulling three clarifiers per position. Okay, so beginning with the feminine, uh, past position. Wow, the Empress. Uh, that's awesome. So the feminine has really embodied her true authentic self. Um, this is the Empress, uh, which is the goddess of love, uh, ruled by Venus. And um, so she's gener generous with her love. She gives her love to all. Uh, this card is also about manifestation as well. She birthed things into the 3D world. Uh, she's highly creative. Um, and it's earth energy as well, so there's groundedness here. But you can you see how the heart chakra is wide open. Um, she's waiting to embrace uh, the masculine. So three cards, past, two cups, present, four cups, and the future position is death card. So I'm going to flip these all around. Okay, so the past position, two of cups. So this is spiritual union. Um, the Two of Cups is when you've recognized your twin flame on a soul level. Uh, so the heart chakra opens up and you know it, it opens the consciousness to higher levels. So um, there was that deep connection in the past position which opened the feminine up and you know really grounded her into you know her true authentic power. Um, so the Four of Cups is in the present position, but this is still past. Uh, so 
it's like, you know, there, there was a disconnect, a mourning kind of energy uh, at the loss of this connection because this figure is looking to the past, to the spiritual union. Um, so this could be, you know, somebody offering you a cup of love and you turning their back on them or vice versa. Or, you know, just feeling like things aren't moving, you know, um, feeling disconnected, stagnation. Uh, and it's a longing energy as well. But in the future position, we have the death card. This is transformation. This is death of the ego, death of the old identity, you know, cutting away things that no longer serve you. So, you know, this twin flame connection, the spiritual union initiated her into, uh, you know, her power as the empress. Um, however, there was a disconnect in the connection but you know um, what happened in the future is the true power behind um, the Empress in that she let go of any attachments any desires you know she cut that longing energy away and more importantly she released uh, the spiritual connection as well you know it's there's no that nothing comes you know, nothing good comes from from longing and wanting a connection. So uh, she was reborn into the Empress as a result of, you know, this series of events. So the death card um, is a beautiful card. It's metamorphosis. It's the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. Uh, so it's a, you know, a rebirth. Okay, so the masculine transformation, death card as well. Uh, so metamorphosis, you can actually see the butterfly wings here. So in uh, the recent past position or past, uh, the masculine went through a massive transformation, just like the feminine over here. Um, but this is the main position card. Uh, so you know, the feminine was in this state of peace and balance as this transformation occurred. Um, she didn't allow it to affect her emotionally. Um, and while, you know, while this masculine was going through the transformation. Uh, so again, death of the ego, death of your old identity, cutting away things that no longer serve you. Uh, so it's a rebirth. The Tower, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Wow. So the Tower, uh, past position, this is a sudden disruption, sudden change, something that comes in out of the blue and transforms your life forever. So anything built on a lie, anything built on illusion, was meant to come down okay so that a new foundation can be built of it so this is the house of cards easily knocked down by you know a slight gust of wind so there was a sudden change Some, something happened in the distant past that really rocked his world uh, and it happened suddenly and that's what you know in, initiated the transformation the Queen of Swords could represent an air sign, or the, it could represent what I'm feeling is a karmic partner. Um, you know, somebody who is unemotional, uh, detached. Um, however, um, if it isn't a karmic uh, partner, it could represent an air sign who is, you know, has clarity of thought, knows their truth, um, speaks their truth, sees through bullshit. Uh, you know, but well, because I'm, you know, I'm looking at all of the cards in its entirety and I see it more as a karmic relationship. And I say that because of the fact that the tower and this transformation required a detachment, required, um, you know, someone who is unemotional to be, or someone who he's not connected emotionally to. To be released is what I'm saying. Uh, the future position is the Nine of Wands. This is the wounded warrior. So this is someone who's been through countless battles, right? So with this 
you know, series of cards is saying is that this wasn't a, an easy transformation whatsoever. Um, it required, you know, it came in very suddenly. It rocked his world. But he, what I'm feeling is surrendered to the rebirth. He, um, you know, he was aware, he was a conscious of this uh, process happening. So I, I feel that he really surrendered to the transformation. Um, you know, and it's like he arrived at this point where it's over. You know what I mean? The nine represents nearing the end, the completion of something. And so he, he didn't fight that battle. It, what I'm feeling is that he gave it a final push, but in a more introverted way. He surrendered to it and allowed it to transform his life without any, you know, any help from him is what I'm trying to say. Okay, uh, the feminine's present position, two of pentacles. Movement, choices, and decisions. So this represents change, the wind of change, um, and feeling unsteady as that change happens. So the feminine is seeing her material world or 3D world changing. And like I said, it's making her feel a little unsteady, pulled in different directions. And Source is asking you to um, bend, be resilient, allow that change, don't fight it. The lover's card, two of wands, and the, wow, the ten of cups. So past position, lover's card. Uh, this is passion, desire, sexual, uh, hunger, uh, animalistic energy. Um, so it is a deep passion that is ignited between you and another, um, especially someone who's a twin flame or a soulmate. There's, you know, this extra level to this passion. So it's a longing card. It's wanting that connection in the past. Uh, the present position is another two, which is the two of wands. Uh, and this is making a decision in the past to walk through that door, to expand your mind, to see all the possibilities uh, and embark on a spiritual journey. So this decision has already been made and it's transforming your life in 3D, okay? Um, and it's allowing this love to flow back into your life. And I'm saying that because the Ten of Cups is in the future. Uh, so this is a completion. This is a happily ever after, um, an arrival. So it's harmony, peace, abundance of love. It's bliss, right? So um, I mean, it all has to do with love. So that's what's coming towards you. The masculine present, seven of cups, choose wisely. So this is knowing your goal, knowing what you want, but not knowing how to get there, right? So he's in a meditative state, uh, going within and listening to his heart. So he's making, um, not necessarily making a decision, but he knows what he wants, but he's trying to decide how, which angle to, to go down, which you know, um, what do I take with me? How do I get there? You know, what's waiting for me? You know, a lot of questions coming up in his mind. So he's trying to find clarity. Temperance. Nope. The Four Pentacles and Judgment. Okay, so the past position, Temperance. Um, so this uh, is the ultimate union card for twin flames in that the souls wind back together. So she represents the S and the yin and yang. She also represents now, being in the moment uh, and being at peace in the moment, not, you know, looking out for satisfaction, in, you know, to, to feel completed, um, feeling whole within is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it also represents patience as well. So there's this massive sense of acceptance and peace and surrender um, that he's bringing into the reading. However, right now, he's the Four of Pentacles, so he's closed off. He's not uh, allowing 
you know, himself to be influenced by the outside. So it's like he knows what he wants already. He's following his heart, but he's trying to figure out how to get there. Uh, so that requires him to close off to the external world, to the material world. Um, so this could mean he's closed off to the feminine as well, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm feeling that he's not allowing himself to be um, influenced by anything. The future position is the judgment card. So this is a grand awakening. So this is an epiphany, a realization, an aha moment. Uh, and it is a rebirth as well. Um, so he comes into this awareness, this knowing, um, and he sees the light. He sees how his life has just been, you know, that movie projected on the screen in, in his own mind. So he can choose the life that he wants. So, you know, he will make a realization or a choice in the future. And it has to do with his spiritual path. But right now he's meditated, meditating. Um, your near future, or sorry, the feminine near future, uh, Ace of Swords. So this is making a decision. So the feminine will either have mental clarity, make a decision and ground that into reality, um, or a, a decision will come to her. Um, this also represents communication and its triumph and success so whatever uh, decision is made it will ultimately be victorious and it also represents clarity right so cutting away barriers darkness confusion um, so, wow the heart chakra wow nine of cups and the ace of wands Interesting. So we've got two aces here, so an 11, and the heart chakra in the past. Uh, so the heart chakra is unconditional love. It's feeling love deep within you and knowing that love to be true. Um, you know, and you know, it, you know it's true love because only that person makes you feel that way. Um, you know, so her heart was opened. The Nine of Cups is wish granted, wish fulfilled. So it's um, getting to this arrival point of the Ten of Cups, which is in your future. Um, but in the near future, you will feel like your dreams are coming true and it's of matters of the heart, okay? So um, this is a feeling of satisfaction, like everything is just awesome. Everything's working out for you. Um, you're surrounded by love and happy feels. Future position is the Ace of Wands. So this is the Kundalini awakening. It's passion ignited. Um, it is a, it is go time, a thrust forward. So, and it's also an, an aha as well. So um, there will be a brand new beginning as a result of this loving connection. Um, and it's like it will come in the form of communication or clarity, <clears throat> mental clarity. Um, so back to the, the Ace of Wands, uh, this is a new beginning in terms of spirituality. Uh, so it could just be, you know, you're stepping into your spiritual role, knowing your life purpose or you know, feeling creative or... Um, you know, just embarking on a spiritual, um, inspirational idea is what I'm seeing with, you know, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is clarity, mental clarity, decision to move forward uh, on this new path, um, which brings you so much love. So you will feel like you have arrived at some level okay so near future for the masculine truth judgment card again so this is coming in his future cool synchronicity um so grand awakening right uh, 
It's an epiphany, aha moment, realizing your life is just an illusion. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so this is also weighing um, your options. It's evaluating um, because there's significant changes going on. So again, with the making choices and decisions, but ultimately a choice will be made there will be clarity because it has to do with truth and consciousness. Five of Cups, Chariot, and the Six of Cups. How beautiful. So the Five of Cups, past position, this is um, mourning and loss. So it's deep pain. So the masculine has been hurt. He's been through... Um, the fire he's experienced loss and so this is kind of closing his heart off to a certain degree he's guarding it um, which is probably the reason for the seven of cups knowing what you want but not knowing how to get there because there's something holding him back internally so it's because of this loss right but ultimately he will overcome the chariot is taking control of your life and um, using that surfboard to maneuver through the vortex over obstacles. Um, and Chariot is a water card, so this, it has to do with the things that make you happy. Um, so there will be a movement forward as a result of, of uh, an epiphany. The Six of Cups is in the future, so this is what he's moving towards. So this is reunion somebody from the past coming back, somebody you've known from childhood or from previous life. So it represents deep, pure, innocent love and reunion. Okay, so a final outcome for the feminine, three of swords, heartache and loss. Um, so, you know, either this decision comes with a sacrifice or the feminine is required to heal herself from something. Ace of Cups, Devil, and the Magician. Okay, so the Ace of Cups, past position. Um, so this is a brand new beginning of love. It's unconditional love. It only comes when you're ready to receive love into your life. You've let go of the past, you've forgiven yourself, forgiven others. Okay, so her heart chakra is open. You can see that very clearly in the cards. Um, and it seems to me like there's going to be a new start in love with these cards in the near future. However, it's going to require the release of the devil. So the devil is a chain, could represent a codependent relationship, an addiction, uh, self-limiting beliefs, but it, there's something holding her back in the material world and um, it will cause her some heartbreak or cause that chain or whatever, you know, um, it's going to come with a price is what I, I feel here, but it is required. Um, she, you know, it's like that moment. She can't move any further until this is released. Okay, so the future position, how beautiful, the magician, number one. So the card prior to this is the full card, which is taking a leap of faith, starting from zero. So she does release that devil, whatever it is for you. Um, and she steps into this powerful role as a magician, the master manifester, realizing that you can create the reality that you desire. So she starts to have these ideas, um, you know, and, and pulls inspiration from source. That's what these two cards are. Uh, and the magician uses those tools to you know, activate that field of possibility and manifest these ideas into reality. So from this release, there is a new beginning, we got two aces, 11 on either side of the devil. So this release is required, whether it's gonna cause you heartbreak or somebody else, either way, the chain must be broken.
Okay, so final come for the masculine. Five of Cups, emotional loss. So this card was showing itself in the past position, right? So you can see here how his heart is closed off. Um, he's protecting it. Um, but what I'm feeling is that he will overcome. Three of Pentacles. Sorry. Page of Cups. And wow, the 1111 card. Past position, Three of Pentacles. So this is a firm foundation being laid, right? So this fake foundation came down. There was destruction, rebirth, and then movement forward towards love. So, you know, the, the masculine feels safe on a bit, very basic level. There is a foundation there. He feels grounded, successful. The Page of Cups is message of love. So communicating your, um, your love, wanting to begin a loving relationship. Um, this is a muse, someone who inspires you. Uh, so the masculine will reach out to some, not to all. It is a general reading. And then the future position is the 1111 card. So confirmation of a twin flame connection. So he's moving towards this twin flame connection. Um, but he is still at a healing stage. Or it could mean that he has healed his heart and is moving forward. Okay, so what is the feminine bringing into the union for a pentacles firm foundation? Okay, so um, this is the same card as what the masculine got in his present position. But what I'm feeling with this card is that I'm wavering unmovable mountain <clears throat> so it's grounded energy especially with this empress card over here so she is um strong and unmovable there you are again the empress card synchronicity six of wands and wow the knight of cups so past position uh the empress card so what did I say? Grounded in her truth, um, has transformed herself, right? So this is a goddess of love, giving unconditional love. Um, Six of Wands is success and victory. So this, she's, she feels like a rock star. She feels illuminated in the spotlight and she is being recognized for this transformation how beautiful is that transformation just wow so you are on the right path there is success on its way and it's in the form of love so the knight of cups is a movement forward it is um expressing your love uh, it's romantic gestures courting um so you know wearing your heart on your sleeve and, and offering your love to somebody so this could mean this love is coming towards her or that she expresses herself in a loving way. A page of cups is in the masculine's future, so that might just be the masculine. All right, what does the masculine bring in? The eight of pentacles, positive movement forward. So he is feeling not only grounded, but successful. Like he's built up a wealth for himself. He feels financially stable or you know success successful enough to move forward so um he's been working very hard uh and it's like he's almost there wow the knight of wands universe card and whoa domino seven of pentacles Okay, so past position, Knight of Wands. This is a blast out of the gate, movement forward very fast, on fire. Uh, it could represent a, a fire sign, but really this is um, heated passion and desire, movement forward. There's no stopping the Knight of Wands. So he moved forward very quickly with an idea, and that's probably what caused the tower. Okay, I'm feeling that very strongly. Um, and it caused him some heartbreak 
but ultimately he did it so that he can move towards a more spiritual path. The uh, world card is the universe card, it's the last major kana, so it's the final piece of the puzzle is being placed. Uh, it's a completion of a cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime. Um, so it's like he made a decision, that's it, I'm placing that final piece, I'm making the changes I, I need to make <clears throat> so that I can move forward. So the Seven of Pentacles is in future position, so this is pregnant pause, gestation period. So waiting for something, he's waiting for something to occur before he feels that he can finally arrive. And Pentacle is Earth, material world. Okay, so uh, foundation, awareness, magician. Uh, so feminine got this as a final outcome in the future. Okay, so it is a shared energy between the two. So they are, you both are um, desiring to manifest a new reality. You're realizing your power. Um, your crown chakra is open. Um, so you are standing on this awareness. Uh, you know, so there's a one here, and so it's a new beginning. So you both realize your power. I'm going to pull one card for the feminine first, four swords, and the knight of pentacles. So the four swords represents rest, rejuvenation, it's taking a break so that you can find mental clarity and heal your heart, and make decisions about new foundation in the 3D. So the feminine has been in a meditative state, however, she is not just sitting there she is finding her power the masculine is bringing in the knight of pentacles so this is a movement forward but it's a very slow movement but he always arrives at his destination so this has to do with the material world 3d reality so um you know it goes along with this eight of pentacles here it's you know making decisions on how to manifest his desires, his dreams into reality. And it's like he's making progress and he's almost there. Okay, crowning. Six of Wands, victory and success. So this is the same card as um, the rock star here, in feminine's present position. So because it's your, your pre, uh, the feminine's present position, she is expressing this success she is shining her light she feels victorious and she's sending that vibration out into the universe and the masculine is feeling that energy right and moving towards the sun the hermit and the six of swords so the hermit is someone who is detached from the material world from um, society from conditioning and has gone on a spiritual journey and has gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge on this journey so they you know the feminine has found her light within she's let go of any attachments or or is in the process of letting go of attachments there is a sense of being on this journey for a long period of time and being successful um, however, like I said, there, there's still this devil that's showing its face that, uh, that needs to be dealt with. So there isn't a full disconnect, um, but it is required. So the Six of Swords um, for the masculine is moving on, moving to calmer waters. Uh, you know, so it's movement from chaos to stillness. So... It's finally making that decision to walk away from a negative situation or, or even just negative thoughts. So we've got two sixes here. So this is a transition energy. Um, so the feminine may be withdrawing from the masculine in order to allow this transformation to occur. Heart-centered energy, Six of Swords, same card here. So, you know, the masculine is moving from the dark to the light. There's a masculine energy here, 
uh, so you know and there's a lot of movement cards on the masculine side so I do feel that the you know the masculine is really bringing this in so it's a movement and towards the Sun towards love um, yeah okay so one card for the feminine page of wands and six of pentacles interesting so the six of pentacles is the cohabitation card so it's sharing your life with somebody in the 3d so we got two sixes here again so again that's a transition energy um so this is sharing your energy your life um your resources you know it's an even exchange of energy so what you put out you get back priming the pump of gratitude the page of wands uh, would be holding that ace of wands in her hands as she steps out into this adventure this new beginning this new life so there's a new beginning for the feminine in the future um, and like I said there's movement on the masculine side especially with the chariot towards this connection and the 1111 card is the ultimate um, you know outcome here so this screams union okay so you should be excited about that stay positive um, you know really work on your spirituality uh, this could also represent communication or good news coming towards you but it is a brand new beginning in terms of spirituality so this could also represent a fire sign but you know it's movement towards fire towards the light okay so there's a sense that he wants to share his life with you in the 3d and he's finally making a decision to move on from negativity so the overall energy wow the universe card that's amazing so that's in the masculine's present moment here and what he's bringing into the union so that's that final piece of the puzzle so overall that final piece of the puzzle is going to be placed to sit that those last bits of decisions and choices and whatnots are being um, decided upon there's movement and the feminine though again needs to take that sword and release that devil whatever it is for you uh, make room for the, the masculine to come into your your reality because this is the final piece uh, the completion of a cycle and from that that completion is a new beginning the fool's journey all right, so I'm going to pull two cards from Mist and Mermaids, and this will be the final message from the universe. So for the feminine, Mermaid picking Lotus Blossoms, and for the masculine, Flying Fish. So I'll read the feminine first. Okay, so dreams of purest perfection, power to exist in the light. Will I live in this world I imagine or dwell in my own endless night? Or is a sanctuary waiting destined to be my abode? Will I catch the wild fever of wonderlust and journey down curious roads? No matter which path I walk down, whatever I find I must pay. However, however much pain is required of me, my gods know that I'm on my way. So yeah, it's like however much pain is required of me, that transformation is necessary. Um, you know, and it could just be the feminine in this longing energy and releasing that. So I, I lost the page. I, sorry about that. One second. Okay, so the message. Okay, a lovely golden-haired mermaid sits upright in a pond covered with lily pads. She thoughtfully seeks out and selects a lotus blossom. Contemplative look is upon her face. She is on a quest of faith, a quest of spiritual nature. And that's exactly it, what I'm seeing there, that, that spiritual quest, that new beginning. So the meaning, you're seeking spiritual perfection. You are surrounded by options mental, material, emotional, and spiritual. Now is the time to focus your energy and select a path to search for spiritual perfection. Take your time and find the direction that is appropriate for you. Experiment with a new method of communing with nature or your higher power through yoga, 
meditation, or religious study. Find a group who is seeking just as you are and who shares your ambitions. This is a time to move forward with an open mind and curious heart. Do not prejudge the path others are on. Attend a service with a family member or friend of a different faith. Read spiritual texts that are unfamiliar to you and take the time to experiment and walk into new territories. You never know where your new path may lead. So there we go. That new path is opening up. Okay, and the masculine got number 11. Flying fish. Swallow your fears about falling and focus on all you can be. For soon you'll be sailing through sunlight as fast as you swam in the sea. And it's interesting how, you know, he's sitting on the dock here, but in, toward, but in terms of the union, there's movement towards. Okay, so it says, a butterfly-winged angelfish glides effortlessly through the air before a pleasantly pastoral scene. The juxtaposition between sky and sea suggests a feeling of incongruence, yet the fish appears content with its surroundings. The meaning, a fish out of water. Lately you have been asking yourself the same question again and again, and what am I doing here? You're feeling out of your element and at, ill at ease. Different faces, different rules, and different expectations. It can certainly be overwhelming, but remember it is important to leave your comfort zone now and then, and then in order to grow. You might not fit in at first, but give it time. After all, you have adapted a new, to new situations in the past. It might take patience. It might take more effort than you are used to putting forth, but you can definitely do it again. Wow. So that really goes, it really speaks to this new beginning, making a decision. That's it. You know, I'm, I'm going to follow my heart. And uh, so again, with the movement forward, it's time. Crazy. All right, so I hope you enjoy this reading. Uh, I, um, I would love to hear your comments. Um, so leave a comment below. All right, peace. Love you guys.